Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Moon Colony live stream. It's nice to see you again. Uh, I hope you've all had a fantastic week and are looking forward to the weekend. It's finally Friday. Um, but uh, today, I've got Antoine with us again. I feel like it's been a few... Hello, hello. What was the last thing we did together? Was it the bugs? I think it must have been. Yeah, it was the bugs. Yeah, cool. So it's been it's been a few weeks since since we've had you had you on here. It's nice to have you back. Um, how are you? We've had this chat before, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm fine. Uh, I was just saying to Jaden that I got a new screen, so everything might be not perfect. <laughs> Maybe I will have some uh, problem, but normally it's all solved. So I hope the, the stream will be fine mm -hmm. with my new screen uh, set up. And uh, yeah, apart from that, uh, from this, I, I'm good. Fine. Good. Um, cool. So today we're we're going to be doing some more uh, character designs because I feel like it's something that that Anton does really well. So I just keep grabbing him back to do to do more. <laughs> um, uh, but I kind of set set in the challenge of of doing a villainous character for us today. Well, starting it today. We'll see how it goes. Um, we can always carry it on in the future if we like if we want to. Um, and I kind of left everything up to you. I was like, you know, creative freedom, uh, do with it what you want. <laughs> so I don't know if you want to talk us through some of the ideas that you've got in mind. Yes, so I've done some some research. So here is my mood board. And I want to do something a bit creepy, uh, like a Dark Souls game or something like this. And I really like this uh, big arm uh, here. So yeah, I would like to do a villain with maybe a big body with big proportion mm -hmm. for uh, his arm or weapon. But I want to do something creepy, but maybe with a, like a, a goofy side in his design. Maybe for, uh, I don't know, his head or mm -hmm. his outfit. But yeah, I want to try something inside. We will see. Yeah. Yeah, I think. And... Yeah, I was going to say, you know, we can spend some time just exploring and and seeing what what works because I can imagine trying to get a balance of uh, a balance of creepy and goofy can be quite tough. So yeah, <laughs> uh, it might take it might take a couple sketches to get down, but it'll be interesting to see what you come up with. Uh, yeah, I think we will try to have the goofy side mm -hmm. in the proportion and the creepy side in the details. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good way to. I think that's a good way to look at it. Um, Messiah says, "Thank God we're designing characters." I'm also working on a character for the, for a warm up prompt. Yeah, I mean, feel free to to join along with us if you want, or or ask any questions as we go along. Um, normally, we we end up just talking about random stuff anyway. So feel free to feel free to chime in and and bring us back to actual art discussions if you want. <laughs> um but uh i'll say hello to some people hey uh gwendaru lumzalum uh, yeah. hello christina nice to see you um uh elvira is in the chat hello um gulimo uh, la, 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 la. julio 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 primo i want to say julio that sounds good um Katie said too. Hi, Katie. We were just speaking to you. What are you doing here? Do you play to to something? Uh, something uh, like that? Oh, well, what did you say? Sorry. Do you play to something uh, recently? Uh, like I have been playing. Uh, I've been playing a mix of. Um, Dragon's Dogma Two. Oh yeah. And uh, do you find it cool? Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really loving it. Um, yeah, we uh, were you in our meeting earlier. We had a meeting earlier, uh, and I can't remember if you you sat in on it or not. Um, the the art feed meeting, but yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, 
I was trying not to not to gush about Dragon's Dogma in that because that got brought up and I was like, okay, we have to focus on the art here. <laughs> I can't start, start, start talking about Dragon's Dogma. Um, but yeah, no man, I'm really I'm really loving it. I think the the original people who started playing it and didn't like it, I think have have kind of left the I've kind of left it now, you know, they've they've, yeah. they've had their rants and they've kind of moved on and it's it's got its problems but it's it's definitely really nice. So have you played to the first one before or it's mm -hmm. the time? Yeah, I uh yeah, I played the first one man, I think probably around when it first came out, which was over 10 years ago, I think. <laughs> um so yeah, I played I played it back then, but I never finished it. I didn't finish it until a week before Dragon's Dogma 2 came out because oh, I, yeah. I I restarted it. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you, okay. you rushed it a bit uh, to <laughs> to, uh, to go on uh, Dragon Dogma 2. Yeah, I was like, I need a I need a refresh. So I I replayed it and and actually finished it and really loved it. So when the second one came out, I was peak peak hype building and yeah it was it was great i didn't play to the first one mm. i was curious about uh, the second but i don't really know if it's my kind of game because when i see the critics it's like yeah it's not a game for everyone mm. and the a lot of people just dislike it because it was different from the other RPG. Yeah. So yeah, I'm a bit afraid to, mm. to buy it and just don't like it. Not because the game is bad, but just because it's not my game. Yeah. Yeah. I I think it, it is one of those games, like even before the second one came out, I was chatting to people in Discord and uh and saying like yeah, I can't recommend the series to anybody because it's it's kind of like I don't want to recommend it, and then someone's like, "Well, I hated it." And I'm like, "Well, that's <laughs> that's kind of how it is." But um, you you like Elden Ring and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Okay, because it's kind of <sighs> man. How do I describe? It's kind of got that big, like, expansive world of Elden Ring with like monsters like dotted around and stuff like that but there's like there's very little fast travel in the game as well so you're actually having to you know trek halfway across the map to get somewhere 99 percent of the time um which for me i think is really nice but a lot of other people don't like them at all uh Sorry. Yeah, maybe I'll try someday, but I will mm. wait for the price to, yeah. to decrease because uh, it's a bit too expensive for no. I don't have, especially if I'm not sure. To. Yeah, I, yeah, I would definitely if you're un, if you're not sure, yeah, definitely wait for it to like go on sale or something and, and get it then. Uh, I'm just looking in the chat and people are like. Hi, I don't have Twitch in my iPad, but I'm watching anyway. I'm watching from my Samsung smart fridge. I'm watching this through my ring doorbell. <laughs> Surprisingly, stream worked on my old printer. Wow, that's really impressive, guys. Thanks for all the dedication to watching the stream on your old printer. <laughs> this is real. Oop, your, your mic cut out again. Oh, no. It might be on Discord side. Do you want me to hide your screen? Ah, oh, no, you've got a you've got a second one. Uh, yeah, Windows uh, just uh, changes the volume of my mic. I don't know why. Because Windows hates us. Yeah. Uh, I'm from a Nokia 5200, and it's working fine for me. A Nokia brick, man. Uh, I'm impressed. What uh, was your first phone? My my first ever phone. I don't remember what the I don't remember what the you know 
the, the name of it was, like the the serial of it, but I remember it was this blue it was about it was tiny, it was about this big. Um and it was this blue one that you could flip up, like slide up, and it had a big keyboard underneath it. Oh. Like a full size keyboard. Yeah. Uh, it was a Samsung. I I don't think so. Tell you what, I will I will look it up. Blue slide. Because I feel like I have the except the um, the same one. Mm. Oh no, mine was it was an LG. It was okay. an, it was an LG KS three sixty. I just found it. Because uh, I have uh, I had uh, a Samsung B three thousand four hundred and ten. I don't know how to say that in English uh, correctly. <laughs> and you know, now the phones are pretty easy to, to pronounce. It's just iPhone uh, 12, iPhone uh, yeah. 14, uh, Samsung uh, 10, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But before it was the Samsung B3410, like uh, <laughs> a name of uh, a printer. Yeah. Yeah, it took a long time before phone manufacturers were like, hmm. Maybe we should actually make our brand memorable <laughs> instead yeah. of just like nonsense. Um, but yeah, this this like this like slide up phone that I had it was totally pointless. Like, the, you know, when you ever, whenever you get your first phone, or at least back when we were probably kids, like you get your first phone, you don't really have anyone to text you know it's like i'll text my parents yeah. and that's about as far as it went <laughs> so yeah, same. um so i did not need this like slide up the like slide up phone that had a full keyboard under it but i loved it and it was really cool um until i <laughs> until i until i sat on it and it broke but you know <laughs> yeah for me it was the same just to yeah, call my parents and play uh, Doodle Jump. It was the only game I had. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Well, this, yeah. Well, when I got my first phone, it was like it was like right on the the edge of touch screens becoming a thing. So my first phone, my parents couldn't afford to get me like a touch screen phone. So I just had this like LG thing that had like nothing on it. You know. Mm. I couldn't even, I, you know, it couldn't get internet or anything. Or if it could, it would cost you like a bunch of money. <laughs> so. Yeah, I didn't get uh, it also. So my phone was just to listen to radio when I wanted to listen some music. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, nothing else. It was just uh, like a break yeah. for uh, my parents. Yeah. It's it's really funny. I mean, now it's crazy how it changed. No. Yeah. Well, this is the thing. Now, like every every kid has their own phone, and I'm like, man. Yeah, and I... play Fortnite. On this yeah. One. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's insane. Uh. <laughs> damn, damn, you've got phones. I'm watching from my crystal ball. Hey, it's pretty good. Can you tell me my future while while you're looking in there? Uh, Chicken Man said, "Oh, cool shoulder pad." Yeah. Uh, Virgo, their phone was a was a pink Nokia six one one one, and she was bedazzled. Wow. What does that look like? A Nokia six triple one. Oh, oh yeah, one of these. That's a classic. Yeah, see, that was like a vertical. That was like a vertical slide up, whereas mine you slid it horizontally. And that I was. Never had the Nokia. Dude. I changed so much. My phone. I had uh, first a Samsung. Mm -hmm. After this, I had was a Wiko. I oh, think. okay. 
It was uh, pretty bad. <laughs> and once I tried uh, iPhone, but it was a bad one, the iPhone 5C. Uh... And it was not really pretty good and pretty expensive. Mm. So I leave uh, Apple for a while after this. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, now I came back because I'm tired of the Android phone. Mm. I, I've never had an Apple. I've had a few. Uh, I've had a few different Android phones. I think I started off. What did I have first? I think my first touchscreen phone or like smartphone was my mum's old like Samsung Galaxy. Like. I, I don't know. It was like one of the first Samsung Galaxy phones, um, and that was fine. Like I, once again, it was one of those times where I just didn't. I didn't really use it for anything. It was more of like an MP3 player for me than it was anything else. <laughs> um, and then I went to, and then I went to Huawei. I had a Huawei. I went through like, I think, two Huawei phone Huawei phones. Mm -hmm. Um, and now I'm back. I'm back with Samsung. I have a flip. A oh, a flip. flip. Yeah, I think I have a flip three, which is the one before the current one. Um, I find this so cool. It's just a bit too expensive for now. Yeah. But I really like the ZID. Mm. Mine was... Yeah, it, it was quite expensive, but this was at the time where I lived with my parents, so I was like, I have yeah, so much it, money. <laughs> it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, I have no bills to pay, so I'll just burn this yeah. money on a phone. Yeah. Yeah, I know when I see the price of every phone, I'm like, okay, it's just yeah. so expensive everywhere, everywhere that I can just buy an iPhone. <laughs> yeah. So I don't feel very really good. To, to have an iPhone uh, that cost uh, a lot, <laughs> mm -hmm. because uh, with Samsung it's the same. Even with uh, OnePlus, it, it's begin to be the same. Yeah. So... Yeah, that's the thing. Phones are just getting crazy. Like, you you can so easily pay like over a thousand pounds for a phone, and I'm like, there's so many other things I could buy with that money, <laughs> you know, yeah. like. You could buy like a top end VR headset for half of that price. <laughs> like for half oh, the yeah. price of phone. And a good one. Yeah. And that's insane to me. Yeah, you can pay a, a big new screen for your PC, like, or just a big graphic card. And yeah. Pay a lot of things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Uh,. Riku says, I saw in the crystal ball that I'll get paid. Whoa. Man, I hope so. <laughs> uh, Katie's first phone was a Sony Ericsson. I never had a Sony Ericsson. I think my dad did. I think my dad had like three phones because he, he got a work, he had a personal one and a work phone. But that's that's nice. Uh, Dan says uh, I had the f you had the first iPhone 3G. Damn. I bet that was pricey back in the day. The first iPhone. It must have been. Virgo phone payments are crazy nowadays. Yeah. Thing is, you don't even save money by buying them on contract anymore. You know, it's just you kind of screwed whatever you do. I love the, this guy's mask. He's looking cool. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> To yeah. Be honest, so I try a lot of things. I think it will change uh, the time. Yeah. Uh, oh, thank you, Perpetual Pairs. I love your name, by the way. Perpetual Pairs is such a fun thing to say. Um, 
Thank you for the hydrate. I will I will take a drink actually. Thank you so much. I'll go to to take Uh, Stefania says this is looking good. It is looking good, yeah. Did you ever, um, did you ever play Mass Effect, Antoine? Yeah. Yeah. I did, uh, the first one for sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe the second, but I don't know if I finish, uh, the third one. Uh, okay. I don't remember. Did you ever see the... In the second one, did you ever see the, the, the race that they called the Collectors? Yeah. Yeah, like the, the like bug-looking people. The... Yeah, a bit with the, their ship, like a, a bit of shrimp, no? Uh, no, their ship was like this really... Like, it was a big, like, tower. Oh, okay. Um, but it was just, like, the the way the eyes on this guy remind me of like the collector head um it's really cool uh, but yeah i never actually asked what 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 have you been playing recently mm, recently i play a lot to star season no uh, uh Simulation game uh, of uh, space. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, recently, there are the, a lot uh, of uh, updates mm -hmm. with a lot of new gameplay, uh, new uh, graphic uh, date, and the game uh, begin to look uh, so beautiful with a lot of uh, things to do. Oh, awesome! So, yeah, I'm totally hype. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's cool, man. That's cool. I, I don't know if I've ever, I don't know if I've ever seen it, or if I have, I don't remember it. <laughs> I think you've seen it, maybe because it's a game that received a lot of critics mm. because uh, it's uh, it's played by the the players. It's uh, an indie game. That uh, earn a lot of money to to his development, ah. and it's uh, an open development. So we see how it's going uh, by the years, and uh, for some people it's a scam or it's too slow, but it's just a normal uh, journey of a development game. Yeah, take a while, but it's normal. And then as a creator, a lot of new technology for the video game industry. Mm. That are really cool mm. because uh, the goal of uh, Star Citizen is to have a complete universe without a uh, loading screen. Wow. And it's already the case. You can go on a planet to the space without any uh, loading screen. It's not like uh, Starfield, for example, mm. uh, where you have a loading screen everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's really cool. It's really well done. Mm. Uh, the game has a lot of bugs because uh, it's still an alpha, mm -hmm. so it's a bit hard to play sometimes, but it's already really, really fun. Cool. And you say, it's a, is it like a single player thing or like a multiplayer thing? No, it's multiplayer. Oh, cool. They have a single player that's more uh, story like Mass Effect, but more mm -hmm. about uh ship uh, simulation game mm -hmm. and the multiplayer is a uh, um, mmorpg oh cool so it's, uh, with a lot of people that's awesome yeah yeah because when you were, when you were talking about the fun like the uh the the way it started as like a kickstarter thing it reminded me of star citizen And that that was very similar. It started as like a kickstart and then got loads of money. <laughs> loads of money. And something really cool about the game is that the, 
universe is uh, persistent. Mm. So if you play something on a planet, it will stay forever. Oh, that's cool. That is awesome. So yeah, it's really cool, but it's also a bit bad because uh, when you spawn, you are in a city. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people just buying some food or water and throw their bottle on the ground. So oh, the bottle will everywhere. stay here. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so there is a lot of, of trash. <laughs> it's like the real life, you know. If nobody uh, yeah. go to to take that to uh, to a trash, it will just stay on the ground. <laughs> oh, so, they should they should make little like trash robots that go along and pick up like and pick up all of the trash on the floor. Yeah, I think it will be some AI that will just. Uh, like NPC that we just yeah. take the, the trash, but yeah, I know it's us player to <laughs> to do that. That's fun. I like that. That's funny. I love. It. It's nice, you know. It's nice to know that humans will will uh, ruin even fictional <laughs> even fictional worlds with our litter. That's nice. <laughs> bit sad but yeah yeah but it's funny also to see some people just uh take the time to take all the bottle and uh, the mm -hmm. trash to, to clean yeah. everything yeah uh riku says man i miss mass effect i've been wanting to replay it for ages now do it i replay it like once a year like Effect Andromeda or... oh, I've never actually played Mass Effect Andromeda because I was always scared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have seen a lot of memes about the games that was really funny. So yeah. I, I never played to it because I was like the, the game is a joke. I don't really want to play. But uh yeah, I think they they want to make another game. Yeah, it they, was announced. Yeah, yeah they're, they're making Mass Effect, Mass Effect 4, technically 5, but yeah. It's, I think it even, I think they've even said it, it has some of the characters from like the main series in it. So it's going to be interesting. I think so. Uh, once a year you have so much time well you know if you just sort of if you just know life it then it, ta it doesn't take too long <laughs> the games are actually a lot shorter than you think in okay. if you if you know what you're doing and you know you know what path you want to take it, it doesn't take very long yeah even if you don't know if you just want to rush just to can mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think the first one you can finish in like I don't know, eight eight to eight to twelve hours maybe. It really isn't it's not long at all. Uh I played just for the atmosphere just to be in that universe again, but never finished it. Oh man. Uh Hey Fu Renart, nice to see you. Uh, high circle as well. Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda is not that bad. I don't know, man. Well, no, I've I actually heard that from a few people, but I'm still kind of scared to. <laughs> I'm still kind of scared to touch it. <laughs> I think the the first years of the game were terrible. Yeah. That was broke. But maybe now with the patch. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's probably what it needed. Just a few patches to to get it up to scratch. I mean, I think it, it came out in that in that time where game industry crunch wasn't really looked at as much, <laughs> and so I think they had a deadline and were crunching hard to meet it, and it, that's why it ended up releasing with quite a lot of issues. But Who's to say? Uh, Perpetual Pairs says very strong shapes in this character design. Thumbs up. 
Yeah, we're getting some we're getting some effects in here too. Is that a is that like a hammer on the floor that he has as well? No, it's like a or a little pet dog. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> something. Like a little, it looks like a little. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you'll know what they're called. Like the little tardigrade things. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> water bears, whatever they're called. So yeah, I was wondering of doing something like this. Mm -hmm. Just man, like oh. a zombie. Yeah. He's still not happy with those. He's still not happy with that yeah. face, huh? <laughs> yeah, I like this shape. Mm. But, uh, of course. I think Google might have turned you. Uh, Google? I think Windows might have turned you down again. Why? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it was it was worst. <laughs> I, was yeah, gonna... I don't know why it was not like this before. Uh, maybe it's my new screen that yeah something. It's really strange. Uh, <laughs> it's Dyrol says, "Love me some villains. Where are my fellow villains at?" Hey man, if you want to get existential, we're all villains deep down. Uh, Bill Gates is watching us all. Yeah. Bill Gates is personally in control of Antoine's microphone level and is just pranking him. Oh, sorry if you can hear any like lawnmowers outside. They're cutting the paddock. And who is your favorite uh, villain? My favorite villain? That's a that's a really tough question. <laughs> I, I don't know if I've ever really thought about it. Do you do you have a favorite? Mm, not really. It depends of uh, of what because for Disney, I think mm. my favorite it's uh follow because it's the worst i think oh yeah in terms of villains yeah it's too too real mm -hmm. but uh yeah for other uh other... i really like ganondorf especially in the last uh, game uh the other kingdom mm. he's really cool in terms of design yeah um i mean yeah you kind of said the the two you said were my first thoughts and i was like i don't know man because I, I was gonna say ganondorf but he he looked he looked cool in the in tears of the kingdom um he was super lame in breath of the wild <laughs> mm. um but i totally agree with you with disney frollo frollo is like top tier disney villain He's yeah. just like the other guys might have. I don't know. The other guys might have committed murder, but Frodo is just—he's just a bad, bad guy, and is too real. You know, it's way too real. Um, he does have the best but, uh, song though. For the opposite of him, I really like uh, Aedis because it's really funny. Mm, yeah. Uh, Kathy Arts says Aedis for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I just did really fun. Uh, Riku says, uh, Than Thanatos? Thanos. 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 Yeah, Thanos from the, the Avengers. Uh, oh, the guy who drew, who threw his door in the pit in Avengers. Yeah, yeah. 
Thanos. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. Not my favorite Thanos. He was cool, but yeah. I don't think I could get over how funny I found him looking like it. I just looked at him and thought his design was too funny for me to really find him all that scary <laughs> or like threatening, yeah. you know? I, I don't know why he was reminding me a, a lot of Homer Simpson in a way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> so it was hard to take him seriously. Yeah. Uh, it was a bit too much in that uh, mood of, oh, the humanity is bad, the humanity is, uh, uh, there is too much people, or oh, the humanity, the humanity. Yeah. Yeah, I always found it really funny. Like, his whole thing is just like, there's too many people. It's like, yeah. oh, all right. <laughs> okay, there's a whole galaxy out there. I don't see what the problem is. <laughs> it was not just, uh, okay, uh, time to make a lot of children, please, for a while. No. <laughs> we just erase everything. Yeah, <laughs> erase half of everything. The man can even commit. Um, really a, a weird plot. Yeah. And I, I really like uh, personally when a villain is a, a, a true villain, like he's bad, really bad. Yeah. And not just, uh, oh, the humanity is complex, so I am complex, so I'm not really bad, but I do bad things, you know? Yeah. Things like this. Yeah, it's not my favorite kind of villains. I really like just, yeah, true villains. Yeah. People who are just bad because. I want to be bad. Like, I like it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Riku says... Oh, sorry, we've just been ripping Thanos apart. But Riku says they like Thanos because he wasn't stupid or anything. He had an idea. Yeah. Yeah. He, you know, at least he, he had an idea and he saw it through. And we love him for that. But I just think he should have committed, you know? Just get rid of everyone. Don't leave it at half. Um, Perpetual Pair says in terms of villains I always loved the Disco Elysium concept of negative emotions being personified and sometimes being a detriment to your playthrough D&D style yeah I mean the, the cool thing that I really like about Disco Elysium is like realistically the only villain is you to yourself <laughs> right like your emotions are, yeah, the villains in that game, and a kind of you're at the mercy of them. It's cool. Have you have you played Disco Elysium, Antoine? No, but I've seen some uh, friends play. Yeah, and I really like the style. Of yeah, I I love how Disco Elysium. Uh, I love the art style of Disco Elysium, and I remember when it first came out. I really struggled to play it because I just didn't want to read all of the te all of that text. I couldn't do it. But then they added in um, they added in voice acting like after launch, and that just skyrocketed the playability for me. It's yeah. really cool. Yeah, I feel like I'm too lazy with everything. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I don't think I ever finished it. <laughs> but I, I saw enough of the game to be like, yeah, this game is amazing. <laughs> and then... But I have to read. <laughs> yeah, but I have to read, so I I, I can't do it. Um, uh, let's see what else other people said. Uh, hi, oh, Julia Primo says, Hi, Evolutionary from MCU is one villain that I like a lot because it's, he is really bad. Is only bad, an evil person, one of the worst. <laughs> and the actor did a great job. High evolutionary. Who is that? High evolutionary. Oh, it, it's the it's. Oh, it's the guy. It's the rocket guy. The guy who who did all the animal experiments and stuff. Yeah, he was just kind of mean. Anyone who experiments on animals is already is already a villain. So, uh, 
best game villain, Vas, Vas Montenegro from Far Cry 3. The guy was nuts. Yeah, he's got to be up there. Oh, I think one of my favorite villains from games was from Portal 2, GLaDOS. Yeah, yeah. For... She was very funny. Uh, yeah. Weekly 2. Yeah, I really like this game for his character. And mm -hmm. the, yeah, for the good villains with a, a good, uh, say, But a true villain, like I, mm -hmm. I like, just. And yeah. one was a villain because he was too smart, and the other was just a villain because he was too dumb. Too stupid, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I really, I, so I love Portal 2. I've played it yeah. so many times. Um, and I, I, I always just. I always loved GLaDOS and, and Wheatley. I think they're both such good characters uh, in their own different ways. Like, the, like, oh man. Wheatley's whole thing of like his his descent into, <laughs> into like chaos is just <laughs> funny. It's just so, it's so ridiculous. Uh... Uh, Messiah says, oh my god, are we talking about villains? I like Iron Man. It, is Iron Man a villain? <laughs> are we gonna are we gonna get into like the moral dilemma of if Iron Man is a villain or not? I guess Tony Stark was a weapons dealer, so that that's not that's not the best. <laughs> yeah. Um Violator in Spawn is a bad villain. I watched the movie. I watched the Spawn movie, but I don't remember anything about it other than the cape looking really cool. I uh, probably this cult figurine of Spawn was. Uh... And the design of the characters is really. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Spawn's character design is awesome. I think they put him into. Um, I think they put him into a Mortal Kombat game at one point. Uh, the new one or uh, an older one? Uh. Ah, uh, Mortal Kombat Eleven. Yeah, they put Spawn okay. into it. It's, it's pretty cool. Spawn always makes me laugh because uh, it looks like he has the same cape as Doctor Strange. <laughs> so <laughs> even though he's a uh, he's a DC character. At least I think Oh no, he's neither, isn't it? He? He's neither sport. He's neither Marvel or DC. He's like a third-party one, like a Todd Mc Todd McFarlane thing. Uh, Iron Man did get a villain run in the comics. I think everybody got a villain run in the comics. Uh. Chicken Man says, way to go, Antoine. That, hel that helmet is sick. It really is. Thank you. Yeah, it changed so much from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Uh, I hate Shepard from Call of Duty. He's such an ugly villain. Oh, man. When I was a kid... I hated Shepard. I hated him. Did you ever play did you ever play Call of Duty when you were younger, Antoine? No, didn't. Oof. Oh, there was one of the one of the villains I he it was Modern Warfare 2. And oh. like 
I mean, this game is super old now, so I'm not going to worry about spoiling a Call of Duty storyline. But if you haven't played it, then I guess cover your ears. Um, <laughs> basically, you go through the whole game taking orders from this guy, Shepard, and then you, oh, get, yeah. you get near the end. The, the of, yeah. yeah, you get near the end, and in one of the missions, you spend a while in this house, like fighting off waves of enemies. And then he shows up and is like, Hey, come on, we'll get you out of here. And then just shoots you in the head and shoots your friend in the head as well. And it's like, wow, okay, <laughs> cool. Um, and like the fan favorite character just, like one of the fan favorite characters just dies. <laughs> it's like, and what? This is the, the end of the game or there's you can uh, get your revenge. Yeah, you get, yeah, you get your revenge. You, you then play as somebody else afterwards and like uh and like hunt him down and stuff it's it's pretty cool but man i remember being so mad when i was a kid at playing this game uh no. back when cod was about emotion not file size i don't know if you could ever argue that call of duty was about emotion but you could argue you could definitely say that it cared more about the plot than it does now. Yeah, it was not the same people behind. Now uh, the the people that that I've done the good Call of Duty ones mm. was fired to to do uh, after this uh, Stanfall. Oh, so, yeah. This is why Stanfall is a good game. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's really interesting. Uh, Dan does drawing says the villain in Sense Eight Whisper. What is? I never heard of that. Have you heard of that? Sense Eight Whispers. Whoa. Man, I've never heard of it. Oh, it's a Netflix show. Okay, fair enough. That's probably why I haven't watched it. It's been a while since I watched anything on Netflix, really. Yeah, same. I feel like there is nothing. <laughs> yeah. I I came to the conclusion actually earlier today. I was thinking and I was like, when was the last time I watched a like like a new film? And I realized that it probably wasn't like the last new film I probably watched was the second Spider Man. Uh the the animated Spider Man movie. Oh yeah, it was really good. Yeah, and that was like the last new movie that I've watched. It was. Yeah, but also the new movie are like remake of old ones. <laughs> yeah. So it's not really new. Yeah. It's there's just nothing that really grabs my attention. You know, it's like. I mean, I guess there's Dune, but I'm not really too fussed about seeing that, to be honest. I didn't see it. No, I need to, but I don't know. I don't feel really motivated to watch uh, a three-hour film. Yeah. Like, too long. Yeah. But maybe the movie is uh, really good, so it was not really painful to watch. Mm. yeah i always tell people that the first movie for me was quite a painful watch i had to watch it in two in two sittings i had to stop like halfway through because i was just like i i got like pretty bored <laughs> in the first movie but apparently all of the action happens in the second one so who knows maybe it's maybe it's better yeah, and uh, it's exactly for that that sure. 
Oh, I think... The same, it's long. Yeah. And uh, from my ear, it's like the same plot of the first one, but with water. Oh yeah, with Avatar. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not watching. I'm not watching any more Avatar movies. I think I've seen it. You know, I think <laughs> once you've seen the first one, I feel like it can't go much further than that. Yeah. But the first one was really. But it was like, uh, okay, this is a good experience. Mm. Now it's finished. I don't need uh, it anymore. Just yeah. Like, okay, just one. Uh... Yeah, and that's the thing. Like for its time, it was like, and mate, it was incredible. It, it the world looked so real. <laughs> And all of the effects were done really well and i mean the story was kind of ridiculous but it was pretty cool um messiah says i've watched i watched the whole of lord of the rings in one sitting i couldn't do that i, I couldn't do that i would <laughs> i would do that one day <laughs> I might have done it when I was a kid, but I couldn't. There's just there's too many there's too many down like there's too much downtime in in Lord of the Rings for me. I think to sit there for that long. Yeah, but this is a bit what I like because when it happens, you can just go take a, a drink or a snack, mm. and come back, and you. Haven't really missed lose, anything. <laughs> yeah, you didn't lose too much things, and it's okay. You have your break. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's a, a good set of movies. To that. Yeah. Like uh, Harry Potter's. Yeah. I could I could probably watch the Harry Potter movies in one sitting. I mean, it would. No, it probably wouldn't take as long as watching Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Although those movies are like two hours. I yeah, it's seven movie, no eight movie, of uh, yeah, it's more than two hours. Uh, sometimes it's almost three uh, hours. Yeah. So it's a bit long. Yeah, which I always thought was really surprising, because I went to rewatch some of the older ones, and I was like, oh. These will just be like an hour and a half. But no, I didn't realize they were like nearly, well, sometimes over two hours. Yeah, I rewatched everything recently. But it's still a, a good experience. Mm. Especially for the first movie because I really like the mood of the first movies and book because it's more uh, colorful, it's more like uh, magic. Yeah. And after, maybe the. the Five one begin yeah. to be a bit too dark, a bit too sad, a bit too less magic. Just yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really like the, the stuff. Yeah, I okay. I always forget pretty much everything that happens after the fifth after Goblet of Fire. I I don't remember. I barely remember anything after that. Uh. Or maybe yeah. Order of the Phoenix. I don't remember. It's like it's when they when they stop focusing on the school aspect of things and getting into like the actual plot. I'm like, nah, I don't want to. I don't care about this anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's less. Than... Yeah. Uh, Kathy Art says sometimes I do that while drawing or something. Uh, or something else because I know them from memory so I have them on a second screen that is yeah. that is also a good thing to do if you if you want to rewatch like Lord of the Rings or something just throw yeah, them yeah I've done that for Lord of the Rings yeah I remember when I was a kid well I say a kid I was like in my mid-teens um, me and some friends got together and we were like let's watch let's let's watch like lord of the rings uh like fellowship of the ring uh two towers and uh and uh 
Return of the King, whatever it was. Um, we'll watch them all in like one sitting over like on on like a Saturday. Um, and I, I don't think we even I don't think we <laughs> we even watched one of them without just talking the whole way through it. <laughs> Which I think is nice. Yeah. It's one of those movies yeah. that's good background noise. Yeah, it's still fun to do even this aspect. Yeah. Oops. But I feel like today mm. I, I have nothing to the recent movie I can't watch it like uh, twice. I mean like yeah. okay, I've seen it I I don't want to watch it. Mm-hmm. Okay. You disappeared for a second, but you're back. But yeah, like the recent yeah, recent movies as well. I, I look at the trailers and I'm just like this either looks bad or just kind of just just too long. <laughs> or yeah, it was just or it's a remake or a sequel to a movie yeah. that no one asked for. <laughs> or just boring because you you see with the trailer plot of the movie and you're like okay this <laughs> will be the end of the movie i need yeah you know oh you know what i saw today i saw a picture that was oh no where have you gone again um i saw a picture that was like disney's 2024 movie lineup and i was like they they have a movie scheduled for like the end of the year that is uh that is Mufasa. It's a Mufasa movie. Oh yeah, I've seen. And I'm like, did anybody really need to know about the about the villain origin story of Mufasa? <laughs> no, it's not the villain. Oh no, it's not the villain, is it? Scar is the villain. Okay. But but even then. Did anybody really need yeah. to know the origin oh. story of Mufasa? Nobody, nobody needs that. <laughs> Did anybody ask for this? And it will be in the... In what? In 3D? In... It'll in probably... The... It'll, it, let's be real. It's probably going to be in that weird, like, 3D thing that the Lion King movie was uh, a few years the back. The remake was terrible. Yeah. I um... don't know why they just want make like live action of everything you did not you Money. did not need to do that <laughs> you, you just yeah. n don't know what to do recently with your movie and just yeah. an easy way to do yeah to make money i'd love to i'd love for disney to go back to like 2d animation but i just don't i, I don't know if they probably don't think it's profitable <laughs> anymore i don't know all they're bored yeah, of it that's probably another thing. Uh, there is only one live-action Disney movie that I like. It was uh, uh, The Beauty and the Beast. That was really cool because in terms of design, it was new. Mm. Uh, there is new music also. And the story was a bit more detailed than just the Disney. So yeah, yeah it was a good movie. But for the next one, it was just uh, okay. The I... Same. The, the live action Beauty and the Beast is the only live action Disney movie that I've watched, or like live action remake Disney movie, you know what I mean? Um, and after that, I was like, I'm not watching any more of these. Because <laughs> <laughs> it really bugged me, because you could hear the auto tune. I don't know if you yeah. noticed this. You, you could hear the auto tune really clearly on every single person singing. And it was. Not the same in French, because yeah, I I think in in English uh, some people are not singer. Yeah. So yeah, it was needed, but in French I choose some people that was so. Oh, okay. So it was okay. Yeah, but man, if you ever if you ever watch the English version, like you hear Emma Watson, like yeah. singing, uh, and uh, it just sounds really robotic like you can tell that there's auto tune on it and i got halfway through the movie and i was like i don't think i could i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish this it's like really distracting <laughs> i think i, I remember 
Yeah, it's it's strange. Um, uh, oh, hello, Kathy. Nice to see you. Um, Kathy Art says, I prefer Scar, like how he became the villain. Yeah, but do you really need to know? Like, you can kind of tell that it's just going to be jealous brother syndrome. You know, it's like... <laughs> yeah, the first movie was good enough to tell everything without yeah. show everything. So... Yeah. Uh, Messiah says, am I the only one who liked the realistic Lion King? As I said, I didn't see it, but I, I just didn't like it from an artistic standpoint. Because I was like, cool, you've taken these really awesome characters that show a huge range of emotion and you've made them into realistic CGI animals. It was so lifeless. <laughs> yeah. Was... So weird because the, the goal was to do something really alive, really real, but it was just the opposite. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, but they want to waste money. Well, you know, you gotta you gotta spend money to make money, and Disney definitely like D Disney made money on those movies. They must have done. There's no way they didn't make a profit. So it kind of it's clearly doing something, or they wouldn't keep doing it. Uh, Dippy Sock said other studios make cartoon uh, make 2D cartoons though, like Klaus. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Those are the ones that that we love. We love those. Klaus was really good. I haven't watched yeah. it in a couple years actually, but I I should add that to like my Christmas movie uh, traditions. Yeah, I was really amazed by the shit. Mm. The style is really awesome. And uh, it was really well animated. Yeah. And the story is also original. It's not just Santa Claus. It's a bit more. It was really cool. Yeah, yeah. It's really nice. Uh... Messiah says, I like the colors of Klaus. Whoever did the color script is God to me. <laughs> yeah, I have to find out, see what else they worked on. Because it's probably it's probably really nice. Um, the making of Klaus is amazing to watch. I just re-watched Klaus a few weeks ago. I think I've already re-watched it more than 10 times. So good. Wow. That is that is impressive. When did that? When did it come out? Like twenty? It was uh, five years ago? If yeah. Before. Yeah, I was gonna say like I, I was thinking maybe like twenty sixteen or something. Let me have a look. Oh, twenty yeah twenty nineteen yeah. I mean, it's wow! It's weird to think that that's like five years ago. That's disturbing. Uh, I just uh, Dippy Sock says I just remember Klaus was actually a mix of two D and three D, just not as noticeable as Spider Man or Arcane. That's cool. I don't mind it when studios do stuff like that because I think that you know that can be really nice. I did say twenty sixteen. Yeah, I know. To me. Just to me, 2016 is five years ago, but it's not. <laughs> I'm I'm older than that. <laughs> um, Perpetual Pair says, I think sometimes, sadly, nostalgia is a safer and easy way to make profit. It might cycle back, though, at some point, and we'll have another 2D animation boom again. Who knows? Yeah, maybe you're right. I think already a lot of people are getting kind of tired of the nostalgia bait. You know, I think because yeah. it's boring. Yeah, Just there's we hear the same things, mm. same movie, and yeah, yeah, something when you like it, you don't want to. I don't know, like for Toy Story, one, two, three was good, okay, <laughs> four was a plus, 
but they want to make a five. Yeah. And I'm fan of Toy Story, but I, I'm just like, stop, stop <laughs> yeah, doing this. Please stop it. I, I will watch yeah. it because I like, but I don't want to watch it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. And I mean, it's, it's not even just movies, you know, like games are kind of, are kind of doing it too with all of the remakes and stuff. But I feel like you feel it. Or at least I feel it a lot more with with movies right now. It's like I don't want to see more remakes. I've never wanted to, I've never been curious about the the origins of Willy Wonka. I really don't care. <laughs> Tim Timothy Chalamet can do what he wants. I don't I'm not interested. Yeah, but for that it was a bit new, so it was okay for me. Mm. Because it was just not uh... The same movie that we already watch. Uh... Yeah, that is true. That is true. Yeah, they they could have done a normal, like a third telling of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> yeah. But there's just a case that I want sometimes a remake, because when I rewatch, for example, the first 3D movie, I'm like, wow, Toy Story one with the graphics of Toy Story 4 should be amazing. Yeah. And in that case, I'm curious to see a movie just a, like a, a real remake. Mm -hmm. Just the same movie, but just update. But it was just for the first 3D movie, but because after this, okay. But the first one are uh, really ugly now, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe it can be cool. Yeah, I think stuff like that. I think you know, it's fine. It's it's like, um, it's stuff like. Let me think. When the when the remake for, uh, I'm trying to think of an example now. But like when when games get remade with like a fresh coat of paint, like it's the same game. But they've like just remade it and made it look better, play better, and stuff like that. I don't mind that because you're just making it accessible. Yeah. Unless you know you're re-releasing The Last of Us One for like the millionth time in the console generation, <laughs> and it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> it was so weird to to do that. Uh, the game, the remake looks good, but the game was already incredible yeah. before. So yeah. yeah, I think there is other games that need a, a real remake. Not yeah. Just, uh, just... yeah, you know, like I'm, I'm not gonna complain when they remade, like all of the the original Crash Bandicoot games and the Spyro games because, you know, they deserved it and they kept everything the same. <laughs> it's like it's mm. fine. Um. Oh, we got a couple of big messages come through. <laughs> let me see. Let me see what we've. What we've got. Um, Kathy says, huge companies like Disney and Netflix should realize a big reason why classics like The Lion King or Beauty and the Beast were popular was because of the beautiful animation and less because of the plot. I'm not a big fan of live action remakes of anything. A lot of stories just simply don't work in a realistic setting. Keep your artistic charm and your money for something better. Yeah. I mean, I think that's it for me. Like, for example, one of my favorite movies ever is Jason and the Argonauts from like I mean wait, let me see when that was actually when that came out um 1963 and if that movie was made now I don't think I would enjoy it half as much as I do <laughs> because so much of that so much of what I love in that movie is the charm of the stop motion animation mixed in with the um like mixed in with the the live action i think it's really cool seeing all the stop motion monsters and seeing people fighting against them and like a giant a giant stop motion clay colossus like stomping around that's awesome that's so cool if they did it in cgi i just wouldn't i don't think i would care as much you know i don't think it interests yeah. me as much um so i'm glad that that movie doesn't have so much of a following that they're gonna 
remake it because I don't think many people care about <laughs> Jason and the Argonauts. <laughs> I think I. Movie I. Please tell me something so I already saw seen it. I oh. never fully watched it. Man, um, so obviously it's based on like the Greek story of Jason uh, going to get the Golden Fleece. Um, but there are some scenes that I can talk about. There's, uh, there's the scene, they're going through this, like, they're sailing through this big, like, ravine, like this big, uh, like, river basically in between two cliffs and uh it's not poseidon but this ginormous like merman comes out of the water and holds these two cliffs apart for them to sail through there's like rocks falling everywhere it's it's absolutely insane um there's another bit where they're on an island uh I always forget what the island's called, but they're on this island and Hercules and this other fella go into this tomb and they find this big sewing, like sewing needle. And the whole thing is like, you're not supposed to take anything from this island apart from food and water. Like that is all you can get. But these guys steal this big sewing needle because they're going to use it as a spear or something. Um, and so this giant colossus who is on top of this tomb like comes to life and starts like following them and trying to kill them because they've stolen from this thing from this tomb um it's a it's a yeah, great I think movie. I, yeah i think i will watch uh, the movie or trailer yeah it's... it's just you know, it's it's dated. Don't get me wrong; it's nineteen sixties. So, <laughs> if you if you watch the movie, uh, keep it in mind. <laughs> but it's just a fun. It's just a fun thing to watch. It's it's good. Um. Yeah. Uh, what was the next one? Perpetual pairs says, "Oh gosh, yeah." When they keep making iterations of the same movie. Sometimes if you have an idea like that, maybe it's better to plan it as a series instead uh, of an afterthought. Yeah, when it's like, and you get a random sequel to a movie that was just supposed to be one story. Yeah. I think with Toy Story, I don't know if they ever planned to make like two or three Toy Story movies, but the, the way that Toy Story worked for the first movie was that you could very easily add more onto it, you know? So mm. I think it kind of worked. Whereas now it's like the end of Toy Story 3 felt like the end. And then the end of Toy Story 4 felt like the end. The end of the end. Because yeah. uh, I really don't see how you can do a, a 5 1 with this. <laughs> yeah. Just, there is nobody left. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's, it's finished. <laughs> It'll be the, it'll be like a reunion movie. They'll all meet up after like no twenty idea. years or something. Oh, you are here too. Oh yeah, me too. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, How are you doing? This is my wife and my kids. Yeah, this can't work. Uh, I, I really don't see it. It will be really bad if they just do that. Like, oh, we are the same place at the same moment. Hello again. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny though. Um, remakes of games are nice and refreshing. I'm excited for the Witcher One remake. Hopefully, it plays better. The Witcher, wow, the Witcher One was. It felt more like a rhythm game than it did a, a like an RPG. But yeah, I feel that. <laughs> just people going Bloodborne on PC. I don't know, man. I don't think. I don't think Bloodborne's gonna happen. I don't know if I don't know if Sony is going to let go of that uh, exclusivity contract. Um, 
Diffy Sock said, oh my god, I was so disappointed. I expected the new Wonka to have the Burton tone in it, but it was just another vibrant Disney polished story. So sad. Yeah. I had a, I think, I think Katie watched it and she really enjoyed it. I don't know if she's still here, but um, she really liked it. Did you watch, you, you've watched it, right, Antoine? No, no? I've just seen the, the trailer, but I want to watch it. Because mm -hmm. I don't know if you'll okay and fun and with mm -hmm. good music. And I already see some uh, scene on YouTube. And yeah. it, was, uh, it was cool. So yeah, maybe I will watch it. Mm. Yeah, I think, I mean, I've, I've been seeing it because it's now starting to come onto like st streaming services, I think. So I'm starting to see it more and I'm like, maybe I'll give it a shot. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Skibbity Toilet will be the main character of the fifth Toy Story movie. I can sense it. Oh no. No, no, no. Uh, so Drakir says, I think From Software will never stop to improve. Uh, but I'm starting to think Elden Ring visuals look a lot like Dark Souls 3. I I much prefer the art direction of the Demon Souls remake. I'm not going to lie, to me, they looked so similar, I don't know if I could even tell the difference. <laughs> yeah, same. Um, but... You know, it, it's, it is what it is. I'd be interested to see... Uh, oh, no, that's, that's okay. If English isn't your first language, don't worry about it. That's fine. Um, I think it'll be interesting to see what From Software do next. Because Elden Ring was... Uh, massive. <laughs> I'm waiting for the deal. Oh, to finish the game first. <laughs> the game so... Soul who came back. <laughs> you like... so you're waiting. You're waiting for the DLC, but you haven't finished the game first. <laughs> and I tried to come back to it recently, <laughs> but like I lost every reflex. Yeah, it was really hard because I'm really soon to finish the game but yeah. now it's so hard <laughs> that's uh, i'm like i need a, a real training to play it yeah like a, a week <laughs> so yeah, it's hard to to play it and i don't know if i will succeed to <laughs> to to do that before the dlc or not yeah when when does the dlc come out have they announced it yet it was announced for soon, I think, maybe. Not uh, this summer. I need to... Uh... Oh, here we go. 20, 21st of June. Okay. Okay, yeah, so... You've got... You've got a couple months. Or a month and a bit. Yeah, I, I never finished it. And I don't think I'm ever going to go back and finish it. <laughs> yeah, I think... For that way, dream of it. Yeah, that's that's how I do it with every Souls-like game. I I think I've only ever finished one of them. Uh, it wasn't a From Software game, but it was a Souls-like game. the The rest of them, I own a bunch, but I just never finished them <laughs> because I get bored. <laughs> yeah, same. But I was surprised. With Elden Ring to go this far. Because when I buy it, I was like, okay, I will play to it like two hours. Mm. And after this, I will say, oh, really bad. Yeah. <laughs> and just uh, get a refund. But no, I, I really play a lot. Mm. But if you stop to play it. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's one of those it's one of those games where you have to if you're gonna play it, you have to play it for like through the whole way. 
Uh, Kathy said, uh, I love the shoulder armor, Antoine. Thank you. I'm struggling a lot to something nice. Hmm. I think what you did before was pretty cool, where it had the, I always forget what they're called. The, so you've got like the pauldron, and then there's the bit that kind of goes between the pauldron and the chest plate. There's like that. Uh, oh yeah, this. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, there was like something there. I can't remember what they're called now. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll try and Google it. Yeah, I always, I always think they look cool. You can get really nice designs on those as well. Uh, thank you for the hydrate, by the way, Kathy. I will take a drink. Man, it's been an hour and an hour and twenty-five minutes already. That's nuts. No, oh, I think your mic cut out again. I don't know if Windows has like <laughs> has screwed you over again. <laughs> I feel like if I stop talking for like one minute, it's uh, yeah, it go away. Yeah, it's weird because it like I think it gradually gets quieter. Like I think it must put you down a little bit and then put you down a little bit more. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I really don't know why. I never had this uh, problem with my old PC. Yeah. And with my new screen, I feel like it's worse now <laughs> because it, it never happened with the last uh, stream, so mm. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's all right. Just have to, just have to keep remind. <laughs> just have to keep bringing it up. I'll be like, hey, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I need to search for this. Find a solution because uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a chiant, like we say in French. Uh, I have found a wow. Okay, interesting. I found a Reddit thread that was like, "Hey, so uh, <laughs> I had to download this software to stop it from doing that." <laughs> what the hell? This is three years ago, so it's been happening for a long time. I really think this is something just dumb to do, <laughs> but I need to find it. Yeah. Begin to be angry a bit. <laughs> You're gonna get angry. You can send a strongly worded email. <laughs> so if you uh, if you hear my my stomach sometimes. Oh, are you are you hungry? To, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, oh, I, I pronounce that uh, badly. Well, I mean, if you want to, you know, if you want to end it a bit early so you can get some food, I won't blame you. Yeah, I think we'll, and maybe soon, sure. because I'm struggling with uh, the design <laughs> of this, <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, uh, okay, I'll just redo these things uh, mm -hmm. a ton of time. Yeah, we can, we can always carry on uh, another time. That's no problem. But I like the head, and I like the beginning of the body. Yeah. So, yeah, just, I need to find a design for <laughs> it's uh, an uh, important element of his design, so I want something mm. cool that fits with his head. Yeah. 
So yeah, I need to iterate and uh, I'm not uh, enough focus <laughs> <So it's not laughs> to, to do it properly. Yeah, that's no problem then. Um, we have a, a couple questions. So uh, one of them is from uh, it's it's Diroth or Diroth. Um, they're just asking, uh, what's your what canvas resolution do you do you draw at? Uh, I will show you because I will pronounce that really bad. <laughs> so yeah. That. Uh, okay, so that is uh, pretty big, but that's pretty big. 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 Yeah, <laughs> it's like five thousand. Is that five thousand by three thousand? Fifty thousand yeah. by? I don't. Know, I can't read it. It's it's smaller on my screen than it is on your guys's. <laughs> uh, but you need a, a good resolution. It was a good comfort when you drawing because if it's if it's too pixel size yeah pixelated it'd be painful to to draw mm. to do a render after yeah yeah and it helps when you go in to do the smaller details as well i guess yeah also oh thank you salary so it is five thousand by three thousand at 300 dpi cool thank you all. Um, and Kathy has just asked, what are your thoughts behind your design? Uh, it was a bit random. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, I had an idea to do something a bit goofy in terms of proportion, uh, like this one. But I wanted to do something also creepy, so I, mm -hmm. I aim to mix these two moods. And I'm pretty happy from now with uh, with the ID, but for now it's too it's too early in mm -hmm. the design steps. Like uh, I have so much things to solve to have a really good design, and uh, yeah, I need to focus on that. But yeah, I like I like it. Yeah, yeah, I think it looks cool. I think I mean you did a pretty good job, like just straight away getting an idea that was pretty cool <laughs> and then um i think it, something that was really interesting was that you know you got the general uh proportions that that you seem to want and then it was cool to just see you go through like three four five different heads you know it'd be like oh just change the eyes or I'll change this change that like you got like the the kind of I don't know if that's armor or like part of his head, but you got like the side bits, like the horns, down yeah. pretty pretty early on, um, and it, it was awesome to kind of see it. Yeah, it develop. It was really always like that when I designed for for myself. Like mm -hmm. I begin with something, it change during the whole process. <laughs> Our mm -hmm. client is different because you need to show something and stick to that after this yeah <laughs> but when i draw for me uh, the sketch is something the line is something else mm -hmm. and the render is something <laughs> also different so yeah, yeah it will be updated with uh, all my uh, other steps mm -hmm. yeah that's the thing i think it's cool because like you've obviously you've got the sketch of the of that like pauldron down on that base layer and you, while you're still using that as a guide, like all of your designs have been very different to just that that first idea. So yeah, it's very like every yeah, layer is different. <laughs> when we see the sketch, yeah. I was aiming first to do something really different on yeah. the head. But maybe there is some good idea for this part, or part hmm. to bring back. Yeah, but I think it's a fun. I think it's a fun thing to do, you know, you're like, you're using the, you're using your sketch as just like a starting point and then building, building on it and changing it as you. Yeah, because you this is a fun part of drawing for me, it's like mm. just tearing, iterating during yeah. the whole process and not just be too like, oh, I've done that, I need to stick to it, mm. even if I didn't like it, so yeah. It's beginning to be painful when it's like that. So I prefer when I draw for me, like, yeah, it's it's free. I just yeah. do what I like for the moment. Yeah, I mean that's that's the nice thing when you're not when you're not doing it 
sort of in a uh if you're not doing it for a client and as you say it doesn't matter <laughs> like no yeah. one's judging no one's judging you you don't need a million different options to choose from <laughs> yeah and you can do some mistake and just erase it and do something else yeah and uh yeah it's okay yeah time is for you so, mm -hmm. so have fun yeah exactly um cool so i mean if you wanna, if you wanna finish it here, we can we can stop it here, and you can go and get some food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that probably sounds like a good idea. Um, I need to eat something, maybe yeah. a coffee or something. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Um, cool. So we will we'll we'll put a hold on this for now, then, um, and then you know maybe if if I'll I'll speak to you afterwards, Antoine. But if you want to carry on doing this, then we can we can sort something out. Um, but. Yeah, until then, I think that's that's it from us today. Um, so thank you, everybody, for watching. It was nice to, to hang out and chat with you. Uh, and I think this is probably one of the only streams where we didn't mention Pokemon once. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was tempted uh, at the beginning of the stream when you asked me uh, what I played uh, recently, because I played Pokemon recently. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was yeah there was, was close. yeah there was a couple times throughout where i was like i could have i could have mentioned pokemon there but i'm i don't i'm not going to <laughs> you know, i'm gonna avoid it <laughs> so we yeah, did so. we did good i'm gonna pat myself on the back for that um I just finish the stream with that yeah <laughs> it will replace me for a while <laughs> <laughs> well thank you everybody for for coming along um, thank you, Antoine. Thank you, Gengar, thank for you the <laughs> for the great sketches. Uh, have a lovely weekend, and uh, I'll see you next week with some more live streams. So, goodbye. See you. Goodbye.